the opioid crisis here in Connecticut grim. New numbers out this morning, and that's triggering a very strong response to save lives. Governor Malloy is set to sign important legislation as the state takes part in International Overdose Awareness Day. News 8's Brian Spiros live in Hartford this morning with the latest details. Brian. Good morning, Keith. The governor will sign that bill later this morning here at the Hartford Public Library. And all of this is meant to further the state's efforts when it comes to the opioid crisis, which is happening across Connecticut and really across the entire country. This has been a major focus for Governor Malloy over the last several years. Now, as that's going on, there will be two other events here in Hartford to mark this International Overdose Awareness Day. There will be overdose kits available for people as well as overdose response training, all of which is critically important here in our state. You know, last year there were more than 900 deadly overdoses in Connecticut. So far this year, according to the chief medical examiner's office, there have been three, 530 deadly overdoses. And keep in mind, it is only the end of August. With that said, the total number of deadly overdoses is expected to exceed 1,000 people this year. That's why there's a push to get Narcan and other overdose reversal drugs out to people in the community. Staff from AIDS Connecticut will be in Hartford today to make sure everyone gets what they need. Anybody who has a need for naloxone or Narcan can come over and learn about overdose and get a kit. And so like a lot of the people who come to the van normally, not all of them are using drugs themselves, but some of them might be like a mother or a grandmother, or a child of someone who does use. And so a lot of times they'll come and get a kit for their family member or loved one. Certainly a lot of people impacted by this opioid crisis. The two events taking part in Hartford today to mark Overdose Awareness Day are at two different locations. The first one is at South Green from 10 this morning until 1245. The second at Sigourney Park from 1 to 3 this afternoon. If you are interested in one of those overdose kits, you're asked to bring your insurance card. Some insurance companies will pay for them. Others will charge a copay. Reporting live this morning from Hartford, I'm Brian Spiros. Jocelyn, back to you.